He is the brilliant new host of The Apprentice You're Fired, and I always find him amazingly funny. It's Mr Tom Allen, ladies and oh. gentlemen. <laughs> I would have sat on your lap. Hi, how's it going? Very good. This is very much like a dream I once had. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till the end. That's what they said in the dream. Tom. What? I, I don't I'm know having if... a chat with my new boyfriends. Yeah. <laughs> Tom, I don't know if I should even need to ask you, but were you a uh, play rugby at school? Were you a keen rugby player? Ever? Actually, you know what? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, hey, your career's going from strength to strength. Oh. I'm so pleased for Tom because uh, he's always got shows. I love him on Bake Off, but now you're doing The Apprentice, You're Fired. What's the... It's uh, called... Just Thank called you, You're one Fired. Thank you, one person. Yeah. I, um, yeah, I do The Apprentice, You're Fired, which is supposed to be... A, they call it a serious BBC Two business show, but on the first episode, I came up dressed as Karen Brady. So <laughs> I think I set the tone pretty clearly from that point on. Well, I love The Apprentice. Do you guys watch The Apprentice? Say yes. 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 Do you? Hold on, hold on. You Manu, you don't Manu watch it. I could tell you just no, said yes to be polite. <laughs> do you watch it? No, I've seen it. No, I've seen it. I watch it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> So you basically you get to meet the people who've just been fired from the show. That's in the right. Is that difficult? Is that ever tricky? Because I always feel a little bit sorry for them, even if they have been remarkably stupid. They are remarkably stupid, um, <laughs> but in a very charming way. Yeah. And I think they get such a hard time on the show. And you know, like Claude and Karen are constantly like, "Oh, here we go, another stupid thing you've done." And so the last thing they need is me, you know, coming and going, like, why did you do that stupid thing, you idiot? Um, and so we try and go, like, why did you do that stupid thing? <laughs> <laughs> you idiot. And, um, and hopefully it sort of warms them up a bit, and I'd like to think it's a celebration of them, but largely it's me getting dressed up in stupid outfits yeah. and pissing around, mainly. Yeah. But it is a serious BBC Two business show. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sir Alan Sugar. Lord Alan Sugar. Lord Sugar, Sugar I'm to so you. Sorry. Lord Sugar. Yes. Uh, I'm very fond of him. I think he's a, a you know a very nice man and a very He's a lovely man, Lord Sugar. Quite he's everybody he's the nation's sweetheart. Well he can <laughs> <laughs> He can be intimidating though. How was it when you first met him? Well, was it immediately had, easy? Well I had to go in and do a trailer with him. Um, not in a, I didn't have to go into a trailer with him. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how I got the job. Um, the, um, I had to go into the boardroom to film a trailer, and they say to you beforehand, don't worry if he's a bit aggressive, don't worry if he punches you in the face. It's all... <laughs> it's well-meaning, he, he likes you if he does that. And so I was like, OK, fine, I had to go in, I had to do these lines, I'd gone through all my lines, I went in there, and then as soon as the camera started turning, I immediately forgot all my lines. And so he was, and he was bored perfect, and I felt like a right prick. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't get fired. So well, we can see, if you can see the actual natural chemistry between the two of you in here. Look, you look like best friends. <laughs> <laughs> that's, go that's going well already, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> did he just leave you hanging? Yeah, he did. That was it. Yeah, he went, no, Tom. Um, Tom, <laughs> yes, last sir. time you were on the show, we talked about the fact that even though, you, you know, you're a grown adult man... Thank you for pointing that out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, although I do realise next to these men, I do look like I am six. <laughs> you look like someone's drawn a beard on a bald child. <laughs> <laughs> I literally look, look like a baby, yeah. So, but we established that, you know, you're, you're a fully grown man now, but you, you mm. moved back in with your parents and you still live with your parents. Yes, yes, I do, because I am a fully grown man. And, <laughs> I, well, I moved back. I moved back a little while ago, six years ago, and, uh, <laughs> and I moved back to save up to try and buy my own place. Oh, that but makes then, sense. Well, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Yes, I thought that was yeah. a responsible thing to do. And then uh, my parents... Well, no, then all the uncertainty that seems to be happening politically happened. Uh, and people were like, no, wait, wait until that's done. Well, that was three years ago, <laughs> so I'm still waiting. And the other thing is, I've basically made a career out of talking about the fact that I live at home with my mum and dad. Material. People seem to enjoy that material. Yeah, yeah. So now, if ever I leave, I won't be able to earn a living to pay the mortgage. <laughs> Well, it's nice, but then they do... They like to invite me to their friends, like, parties, so you basically end up living as your parents. And they took me to their friend Joyce's house. Joyce! Joyce! Jo my mum said to me once, Joyce! Joyce! Joyce has tried to do herself in. I said, oh, my God, how shocking. She said, yeah, we're all surprised, cos she's only just had her kitchen done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Your and mother Joyce... sounds like Ross Kemp. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is everything. And so I got... In, we had to go around to Joyce's house, and Joyce has had a difficult life, and recently she got her downstairs toilet done. Not a euphemism. And... <laughs> she got... <laughs> and then she had a party to show it off, and we went to go round, and we get round there before... Holy, she had a party to show off her downstairs toilet? This is what toilet. people do in suburbia, Jonathan. And... 
We got there, we ring the doorbell, Mum says, now, don't say anything, she's just had her hair done and she looks like Barry Manilow. <laughs> We went in there, right, into this party, <laughs> and then Joyce had done... She'd done an online shop for the buffet. She'd never done an online shop before, though. Somehow, she didn't understand about the amounts. She'd managed to order eight kilograms of ham <laughs> and one bag of salad. I mean, <laughs> you've never seen so much ham in all your life, except for maybe in this appearance. But, um, <laughs> it was a very, it's a very interesting place to live. I mean, you probably have, because you have a lot of protein, don't you? <laughs> Love it, Ramley. But you know, stuff. I was surprised to hear that your your mum and dad they're fairly you know conventional, I guess, working class people. And you you yes. speak in this way, you dress it. Well. I thought you came from like a posh family. No, I'm no, I'm actually quite ordinary. Aren't I fascinating? <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I always spoke differently. My pe my dad was a coach driver before he retired, and my mum worked in the army and navy. And so very very ordinary people. But then they had me, who sort of was born speaking like this. And they were going, oh, we don't know where we got him from. Oh. <laughs> and, and they were like, yeah, go and speak to people and impress them. So like, my mum would send me off to go and talk to strangers, like literally the opposite of what you're supposed to do with... With, with a bearded with baby. A, with a bearded yeah. baby. <laughs> go off, go, go and talk to them. Look, they'll be impressed if you talk like that. And I'd go, hello. And, and go and speak to people. But um, it was, I don't know, there, were, there was me and there was another boy at school who spoke a bit differently. And he got bullied a lot and people would say, oh, you're gay, Kevin, you're gay. We're going to beat you up because you're gay. And Kevin would always say, how do they know? Well, it's happening, but it's a sad memory, really. <laughs> you know, because I think, like, at my school, a lot of the boys who were gay, it turns out, uh, when they learned to talk... A lot of the, you know, a lot of the straight boys learned to talk by copying their dads, but a lot of the gay boys learned to talk by copying their mums. Oh. So, you know, imagine a 13-year-old boy saying, oh, if I have one more pan of chocolat, I'll be speaking French. <laughs> <laughs> on, on one occasion, he went, oh, don't mind me, it's just my time of the month. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how they know Kevin. <laughs> but you... Well, where, uh, where is that Kevin now? Where is he? Where is Kevin now? He's sat here talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Kevin. Go Kevin has the last No, oh, I was touched by that story. <laughs> uh, am I right in thinking, though, this is somewhat late in life, is that you only recently passed your driving test? Oh, I did, Jonathan, yeah. Well, that's I a cool congratulations. No, don't clap. Don't clap. Oh, there you are. Congratulations. <laughs> First step towards independence. Oh, that's Simon. He'll love that. That's Simon, my driving teacher with his fleece on. Pass first time? First after two rehearsals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wasn't very good. My dad tried to teach me how to drive. And we went out once on a Sunday afternoon. Don't look bored. And I... Uh, <laughs> don't fold your arms. Straight people are so defensive. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. That's much better. And um, I never thought I'd be able to talk to a rugby team like that. Let alone I think this is quite team. a liberating evening for you. I mean, it's my ultimate fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> it's not finished yet. <laughs> I, do, I do feel like I... Anyway, anyway uh, no, I did recently pass my driving test. My yeah. dad took me out to try and practice. And then, uh, you know, we came to some traffic lights and they were red and I stopped. And, I, and then they went to green and I went to pull away and I stalled the engine. And Dad goes, Tom, concentrate. Anyway, the lights go back to red, and then I have to wait for them to go to green, drive off, get stall the engine. And then a, another car pulled up behind us, and this driver was in a BMW. And as you know, BMW drivers are the nicest drivers <laughs> in the world. And we pulled, we've, eventually, we've, anyway, they started bibbing their uh, hooter. And, um, <laughs> is that the word? Anyway, I don't know. Anyway, pulled, eventually pulled away, and this BMW driver overtook us, and then they shouted out the window, you fucking wankers! <laughs> and my dad said, and my dad said, wind down the window, tell them to fuck off. I said, I can't tell them to fuck off, it doesn't sound right in my accent. But do something right for once in your life. You know, so I had to do it, to wind down, wind down the window. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> then, <laughs> then we're behind them, Dad goes, show them, you're flash, your flash your lights at them. I went to flash my lights at them. I turned on the windscreen wipers. <laughs> <laughs> Look like a gay pride parade coming up behind them. <laughs> um, you know, uh, you said you weren't sporty at school. No, I wasn't. You hadn't done much in the way that. I wonder whether you would like to try out for the team this evening. A try Just out what? Try out for a bit of rugby. Oh, I, yeah, sure. Joe's getting in position already. Joe, what are you doing? We're going to try. Mano, when you throw in, you do that, don't you? Joe, what are you is doing? It called, is it a line up? Line out. Line out. Line out. So who's going to throw in for us? Who's going to throw in? Manu. I'll throw it in, you jump. You're going to throw me? No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Tom. 
Now, Tom, this is the scrum cap you wear for safety. I think it's that way round. Yeah, like near the corner. Really right. good. That yeah, looks right. really good. Right. Do I look fabulous? It looks absolutely you. OK, look at that. <laughs> That'll protect you. Why haven't you. they got one on? Because they're not doing the difficult or dangerous part. So if you just go <laughs> over here... <laughs> OK, Is and then I've straight? got a ball for you, Manu, here. Joe, what, could you what, explain, what, what are we going to do here? What are we going to do? We're going to do uh, um, a small part of uh, rugby union. Um, this bevelling with your leg. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we're going to do a line out. Basically, it involves chucking a bloke in the air. Thank who's... you for calling me a bloke. <laughs> 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 I'm going to lob you up. No, OK, I changed my mind. Chief, Chief's going to lob the ball. You're going to keep your eyes on that and you're yep. going to catch it. You're going to bring it down, you're going to lob it to Ben and then ben. you'll lob yeah, it Ben's to uh, Big John. No, you're going to lob it to me. OK, I'm ready. Yeah. So practice what's going on. <laughs> Stop pushing my crotch into his face. <laughs> it's a whole lot. This Go is very on. much like a weekend I once spent in Berlin. <laughs> yeah, let's Ready? Go Ready? Come on. Are you... <laughs> OK. Oh. Wow. And jump! Yeah. <laughs> OK. 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 We're going again. We're going one more time. Are you ready? Are you yeah, ready, Tom? Go. Yeah. 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 One more time. 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 One more time.